Hi everyone. Welcome to another video. I'm going to try and uh, drill some holes in this tube so this black water thing will be a thing of the past. We'll see if I can smash my hand with the hammer or something, maybe. Hopefully not. Oh, if you're going to use a drill, make sure you use safety glasses. Of course, these are only the best. I think they come from the dollar store and they were like a dollar. Gonna drill a hole here in the bottom and uh get the hole. Woo! Slip it on me. Come on drill. This is my junkyard drill. I found it in the junk pile. It's worth every penny I paid for it. All right. Now we got a drain hole on that side. Okay, get one in the middle. Can't see. There we go. Well, these are pretty small. They shouldn't have an effect on strength. I have a much better uh, starter bump for that tube this time, so it ain't crawling on me. Oh, this drill bit is a piece of crap. Come on. Boy, you're talking about a bad drill bit. This sucker's terrible. There we go. Alright. If I can get one more, I call it good. Sorry about the view there. It probably wasn't that great of a view. Alright. I see all the etard and bubification shenanigans today. I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do, and this seemed like the uh, a good time to uh, knock out this drainage problem. Uh, probably I'll come back under here and spray a little bit of some kind of paint up under here in these holes where I. Uh, made a hole in it so it so that it would kind of keep the rust down I wish I had a place to store it inside but that just ain't a possibility right now here we go we'll try to get one more out of this old bad battery because this old battery is not all that strong if you uh, if you got a weak one, sometimes you can open them up and uh, pop the cell that's bad individually with reverse current. You know, say double the voltage and and uh, pop it. If you look it up online, you can find out how to do it. A lot of people do it, and you can you can sometimes bring these old batteries back and make them work for a while again. If you're too cheap like I am to buy a new battery. Uh oh. Gotta tighten her up again. Oh, that might have been bad. Uh oh, I'm getting water. Must be some water in there. Uh oh. I think I broke my bit off in the hole. Yeah, oh, there it goes.
Okay, that was my son calling. He was link 540 on the uh, ETAR and Bubsification stream last night. If y'all seen it on there. This is actually his go-kart I'm working on. He's uh, turning 14 today. And he is all about, he is thinking about things he never considered. There, that was the last one. So, that should take care of the, uh, the black water problem. And, uh, you know, he could say, well, weld it up. But if I weld it up, then I probably have, well, burn up the paint. I get under here and show you what I did. All I did was, is, uh, I can't see the screen, so I drilled a hole there, there, and one on the other side. You can see that black junk coming out of there. Sorry about the shaky hands. Uh, I'm wondering if some of these other tubes have also got water sitting in them. I don't think so, but I don't know for sure. So we'll maybe I'll explore that one in another video. Oh, and I was talking to Nick, the car guy, about uh, about the throttle on this having to stop with an adjustment screw. Let me see if I can find it. There is a throttle stop screw in here somewhere that lets this thing go a little further. I can't, I don't see it at the moment. I had, uh, I got in there and found it. And these things are strange because I know a bunch of you know it. Is the governor is what works the throttle on this directly is what closes it. Only this spring comes from your actual throttle. I don't like that. That makes doing anything to it a pain in the butt. Of course, I don't like these motors. So, but I gotta say, this is the best running Tecumseh I've ever had anything to do with. The worst problems I've had out of it is keeping that keeping that carburetor clean. The uh, the jets. The jets like to gum up in it after you ride it a while and they'll start gumming up and it'll start surging when it's idling and or uh, you'll go up a hill and it'll bog down and carry on when it starts starving for fuel. But uh, that's, that's just something you deal with. I just pull that bowl down and blow through it with some compressed air and put it back together. And uh, if the bowl's dirty, I clean that. But other than that, that's fine. Just run the heck out of it. I still want to get that 11 horsepower on there. The only problem I got with 11 horsepower is that this part of the clutch is going to be too small in shaft diameter for that bigger motor. I think I've got an idea about how to make this, how to grind the shaft down on that other motor and keep it true and just use this front part of the clutch system. But uh, that's just because I'm cheap. I don't want to spend any money. Anyway, I've ranted enough in this video. I just wanted to show you this, the solution to the black water problem. And, uh, and that's about it. There's one more thing I want to talk to you about today. And it's fitness. I'm all about some fitness. And uh, when I say fitness, I mean fitting this big 300 head on this tiny little motor. Look at that. The head's as big as the motor. Isn't that hilarious? That's a Kawasaki head off that half a four-wheeler motor. I just got a kick out of it next to that little motor on the flea. Anyway, thanks for watching, everyone. Have a good day.